Hi guys, today let's look at different phrases to refer to time. My name's Trudy and I'm a tutor here at Britain. I'll start by giving you a phrase. I'll explain when to use it and any grammar rules that apply. So let's begin. These days is a great phrase, but we might want to add some variety to our language. Here are some other options. Currently is a formal variation referring to a present state or action. We usually use the present continuous tense, but when it comes to verbs like work or live, we can use the present simple tense. For example, I currently live south of the river. I currently live south of the river. Or I'm currently working online due to the pandemic. I'm currently working online due to the pandemic. At the moment, this can be used in a very specific temporary situation or more generally meaning at present. So again, present simple or present continuous tenses are usually most appropriate. For example, she's crying at the moment because she needs a nap. She's crying at the moment because she needs a nap. Or, I'm happy I'm renting at the moment, but I want to purchase a house after a few years of saving. I'm happy renting at the moment, but I want to purchase a house after a few years of saving. Lately refers to a time period that started in the past and continues to the present. So we usually use the present perfect and past perfect tense or past or present continuous tense. We don't use a past simple tense. For example, I've been working out lately. I've been working out lately. Or lately, she's worked overtime more than usual. Lately, she's worked overtime more than usual. This refers to recently also. For example, they haven't come over for dinner recently. They haven't come over for dinner recently. However, recently can also be used to mean not long ago. So in this case, you can also use the past simple tense. For example, I purchased a new car recently. I purchased a new car recently. Over the last few days, weeks, months, can refer to an ongoing period lasting minutes or even years. The key is to remember this must be continuous and one specific event. For example, over the last few weeks, I haven't been sleeping well. Over the last few weeks, I haven't been sleeping well. Or over the last few years, I've started to consider moving abroad. Over the last few years, I've started to consider moving abroad. Moving on. Imagine yesterday was a Monday, which means Sunday was the day before yesterday. In terms of weeks or months, we can say last month or the month before last. If you want to refer to time and further into the past, just count the days weeks or months, such as two days ago. With these time phrases, we can use a simple past or past continuous tense. For example, I was helping out my grandma the week before last. I was helping out my grandma the week before last. Or the day before yesterday, I bumped into an old friend. The day before yesterday, I bumped into an old friend. As time goes by, this phrase can cause problems for students 
for many reasons. Firstly, we must consider the tenses. Go must be conjugated depending on the time period you are referring to. Past simple. As time went by. This is useful when you're describing your childhood or a time at school or university, if you've graduated. For example, at first, I hated school, but as time went by, I slowly changed my mind. At first, I hated school, but as time went by, I slowly changed my mind. For a situation that is current, we can say, as time goes by, such as, I was frightened, but as time goes by, I'm getting more and more excited. I was frightened, but as time goes by, I'm getting more and more excited. As our examples demonstrate, this phrase refers to a process or change that has happened or is happening over a period of time. So, when using the present tense, as time goes by, we use a continuous tense. For example, I quit smoking a few weeks ago and as time goes by, I'm noticing the benefits. I quit smoking a few weeks ago and as time goes by, I'm noticing the benefits. In the past and present simple tense, we can also use start to or begin to, to also show this change over time. For example, as time goes by, I'm starting to feel fitter. As time goes by, I'm starting to feel fitter. I hated the song. But as time went by, I began to love it more and more. I hated the song, but as time went by, I began to love it more and more. To emphasize the progress, we often add more and more or less and less after a verb or before an adjective. For example, as time goes by, I'm becoming more and more confident. As time goes by, I'm becoming more and more confident. I thought she was sweet, but as time goes by, I'm starting to trust her less and less. I thought she was sweet, but as time goes by, I'm starting to trust her less and less. Check out our other great content here and on our Instagram page and I'll see you in the next video.